What would it take for a punter to win NFL MVP? Punting isn't a position of glamour, so much so that plenty of times when you're playing men, you just use all four downs and don't even bother with the poor punter. With how disrespected punters usually are, it's harder than TK's school for a punter to win MVP. School was very hard. Fans watching games on TV likely see punting as a bad thing, but what if it was harnessed into one of the best players in the league? When they're not getting kicked in the face by Antonio Brown, punters can seriously be a very valuable part of a team. This actually isn't extremely unrealistic. A kicker has won NFL MVP before. No, like, I'm actually being serious, look. This kicker from the 1980s, Mark Mosley, has an NFL MVP award in his trophy case. So the big takeaway here is there is hope for special teams players out there. I promise I'm also not going to pull a fast one on you guys and say, Oh, Tom Brady has punted before. That's how someone who punts can win MVP. That's cheating for the purposes of this video, but Tom Brady knows a thing or two about cheating. Sorry, punters, but that's the most likely way someone who punts will win MVP. Let's analyze some of the routes a punter could go to become an elite NFL player. One possible yet extremely unlikely way is if the team ran fake punt passes like every single punt. And each time the punter pulled some Michael Vick level move or showed off Patrick Mahomes level cannon. But you can't be running fake punts if your punter fires off passes like these, that's for sure. And that's better than the passes from like 87% of punters. If your punter really is that good of a quarterback, I don't know what the coach is doing in that situation, not starting him at quarterback. But there are coaches who make more unforgivable mistakes. Like this person who coaches the Oakland Raiders. He traded his top pass rusher and then complained about how good pass rushers are hard to find. Also, he forgot to put on sunscreen for what looks to be his whole life. Sorry, Chucky. There's also the possibility that a great punter could set up extremely unreturnable punts, if unreturnable is a word, in a good way. Don't interpret that as saying someone who punts the ball three feet and it can't be returned as an MVP. What I'm saying is a punter could put up these ridiculously high punts, like this story of NFL Hall of Fame punter, Ray Guy. The Raiders realized Guy's booming kicks and five second hang times could revolutionize special teams. One time, one of his punts hit the roof of the Superdome. Guy, of course, I think you probably well know, hit the overhead TV screens in the Pro Bowl of 76. They've now elevated that screen from 90 feet up to 200. If someone could possibly top those five second plus hang times while still having good distance on the punt, that's groundbreaking territory for special teams that cannot go unnoticed. Imagine a punter who every time pinned the other team back around or behind their own 5-10 to 10 yard line. That's unstoppable. That's like a defensive weapon too. No offense in NFL history could put up a bunch of 90 yard drives throughout games. Usually you see one 90 yard drive a game by either team, but if you have a punter that makes a team have to go that length of the field every drive, then that's just like unfathomably good. All you need is the right punter with the right leg, the right field position range, continually repeating a technique that works. Having that guy might honestly be just as realistic as an offense that can go 90 plus yards every single drive. Granted, this method won't nearly be easy. Scratch that, I realize none of these methods are easy in the slightest. In fact, they're harder than the Browns or Jets finding consistent drafting. But this strategy would also be moot if you had an offense that was either too good or too bad. A great offense doesn't need their punter as much, so their booming and extremely accurate punts would be far and few between. And a terrible offense would struggle to get the field position to even set up the punter to put the other team's backs against the walls all the time. Unless... Oh, does he bang this one? Whoa, I think oh, that's oh. 70 yards on the fly. Well, that's the line of scrimmage was the 10 yard line. It goes to the end zone. I did some research that included watching a video from our friend Savage Brick Sports, whose channel is linked in the description and the longest punt in NFL history is 98 yards. All of the top five longest punts at least are 90 plus yards. I do recognize that is a lot to ask of a punter, but this MVP punter's kicks would need to be longer than Chris Brown's Heartbreak on a Full Moon album deluxe edition. Hey, maybe the perfect hang time guy could punt the ball so high that you could listen to the entire album before the ball lands. And to anyone who puts in the comments that an album length is a unit of time and punt length is a unit of distance, Please don't, because that ruins the fun of the joke. In this scenario where a punter is consistently rattling off kicks at near record lengths, that guy wouldn't even need to be taking from the strategy of pinning opponents back really far like we highlighted earlier. But this guy would be saving weak offensive drives from resulting in good field position for the other team. 
they would be having likely impossible to return punts. And let's be honest, this guy would be awesome to watch. Better than some of the games we get now in general. All in all, it's a really difficult journey for a punter to win MVP. The deck truly is stacked against them. The odds of a punter winning MVP are probably the same odds of you going to planet Jupiter right after you finish watching this video. It's probably more realistic that you think Iron Man 2 is the best Marvel movie. However, both are still possible. And I do hope that one day a punter can win MVP and not be kind of responsible for one of the worst moments in Giants history. Waits. And it's a line drive kick. Jackson bobbles it and now has to try and recover. Deshaun Jackson gets a block. Are you kidding? Deshaun Jackson still not in and now in for the touchdown. No flags. You know I couldn't have gone a whole video about punters and not shown that clip. Shots, I run the balls, I'm Michael Jordy. Hit it with a little bit of push and a little bit of pull on a goddamn mic recording. I bring the heat, I rep the east, I like the sounds. I don't even know what to do with a gold that I get, bitch. I'm Michael Phelps. I'm like LeBron, I get the gold. I'm Sherry Khan, you'll carry bronze. I'm Randy Moss, I'm Mary Khan. My game on Royce, I'm Barry Bond.